Uh, Mr. Rogers, uh, good yes. afternoon. I'm Michael Canellis from Green Tech Media. And I'd like to get back to your role as Chief Education Officer. And I'm wondering, what's really driving the very active opposition to uh, cap and trade and climate change science? I mean, it's not, it's not blasé indifference, and people don't know and haven't heard of the issue. It's actually active, somewhat aggressive opposition fueled by their own research. It has been difficult. It, it, it's actually, and I want to say this in a very careful way, it, it's a great irony in my mind that the Republicans are the ones that proposed cap and trade, got a Democratic Congress to pass it in 1990, and they heralded it as one of the greatest achievements because we've moved from command and control to achieve environmental goals to using market forces to achieve um, environmental goals. And so for this generation of Republicans to demonize it, I think goes more to the fact that they don't believe the science. And as a consequence, they demonize cap and trade rather than to admit they don't believe the science. Now there's some that say the science, they don't believe it. But others don't feel that, I mean, I think they use cap and trade is a way to disguise their belief about the science. There's a more cynical view, which is it's just delayed. It might, science aside, that it's just delay, delay, delay to prolong the status quo and those who are benefiting and profiting from the status quo. But at the end of the day, for the companies that are providing electricity that drives our society today, we want clarity with respect to what the regulations are going to be because we have a mandate to, to retire and replace every plant by 2050. I've got 40 years to get it done. I have a blank sheet of paper. I want to know what the rules are. I want to know what the roadmap is, and I'll build it. But by delaying it doesn't help me do it in a way to achieve my goal of providing affordable electricity as well as reliable and clean electricity. There's another irony that by Congress not doing it, you earlier said that EPA may do it and it will cost everybody more. Everybody more.